commitment began years ago for the Taylors. Our entire dating months, our courtship was 100% talking about what does our path of the future look like in relation to serving our country. The first of four deployments came when they had two young children and the second immediately followed. The third deployment was my hardest. Um, I had four little kids, the oldest was seven, the youngest was again a baby and that just felt like I can't do this ever again. And I don't think either of us thought we would do it ever again. I think after that third deployment, that's when he got into politics more. Life seemed to be taking a different direction, still of service, still of patriotism. Brent Taylor's service then shifted to community, becoming a North Ogden City Council member, then mayor. He was a leader, unabashed, willing to take on the most controversial matters with a listening ear and an eye focused on the big picture. He was very good at making people feel uh, heard, acknowledged, validated, and then he was also extremely good at articulating the why behind every decision he ever made, especially in politics. Mayor Taylor was re-elected in 2017, just months before receiving a very unexpected call. He sent Jenny a text message. Hey, hun, we need to talk when I get home. And I just texted him back and said, where are you going? I already knew. It had been 15 years since they'd made that decision that they were a military family and together they'd be willing to sacrifice to serve their country. He came home, we had the conversation, uh, and I asked him, are you coming back? I can't do this. I cannot do this without you. I told him, I can't. Just the mere thought of it exhausted me and wore me out. And I, I cannot explain to these seven children where you go if you don't come back. I, I can't physically do this. And he got that magical Mayor Taylor look in his eye when he just always knew everything. He said, I'm coming back. And that was enough for me. Service is what leadership is all about. And today I'm announcing that I will be deploying to Afghanistan to continue my service as a member of the Army National Guard. He deployed to Afghanistan in January, staying in close touch with his family. It's time to go night night, so Daddy's going to read you some stories. First, the Berenstain Bears on the Moon. His social message posts often reflected the driving force in his soul to defend and even fight for freedom. Here's this war-torn country that so many of the people just want and crave what we have. These democracies, we take for granted these freedoms, we fight over and get in partisan politics. And he said they, you know, so many of these men and women just want their children to have what we've had for generations. Just a week before elections back home, he reflected on the cherished opportunity the Afghan people had as they risked their lives to vote with a poignant message. Whether Republicans or Democrats win, we all remember that we have far more as Americans that unites us than divides us. Just a few days later, Major Brent Taylor was killed. I just want to talk about an American hero, the people of North Ogden, Utah, mourning their mayor, Brent Taylor. He was killed Saturday in Afghanistan. Taylor was a major in the Utah Army National Guard and served four tours in both Iraq and Afghanistan. They told me he was killed in a ruck march, which is basically a hike, which is something they did every Saturday. I knew I loved this country, and now it's a chance to say, how did I get there? You know, this price of freedom that's so high and such a precious honor. How did I find myself in this position? And I don't ask that in a poor me way, but an incredibly humbling question that Brent and I and our children, our family, have been able to pay some of that price for something that's so dear to me. I, it's just, it's like a great movie. It's a great story. And every once in a while it hits me that it's my story. And that's a lot, that's a lot. The price of freedom is sometimes the ultimate price. It's not easy. It's not easy on the elected official. It's not easy on their families, but someone's got to do it. Someone's got to rise up. And in the words of Abigail Adams, our lives really are not our own. If there's something you can do, if something you can give, and it comes at a high price. Just think for a minute, what if no one was willing to pay that price? His life was truly not his own. It was shared, 
with family, neighbors, community, colleagues, and his country. As imperfect as Brent and I know we are, and we know more than anyone else how imperfect we are, I know that where he is and where I am today, both of us can stand and say, it's an honor to serve our country, and our community, and we've always tried to serve God, family, and country. And we have a lot of heartache and days and moments of just sheer shock, but no regret, no regret.